We're in Richmond, British Columbia, Canada. This is on the west coast of Canada. It's just north of Seattle, Washington. Um, I've been here the last few days. Um, there's towers everywhere. It's quite sickening. Um, and we did find some 5G small cell antennas going up, so we're gonna document that quickly, which is quite concerning, but uh, I'm gonna look at this one particular tower. It's in a residential area, and uh, I was at the bus stop, and uh, I started to feel nauseous, and sure enough, here it is. But let's, let's document this thing, and then I'm gonna take you to these 5G antennas they're putting up, which is quite disturbing. But this thing is going full ahead, everyone, full ahead. Let's just get a preliminary reading here. So here we are. We're pretty far away. And we're nearly maxed out on this thing. See that there? So this is blanketed EMF radiation. And look how far away we are. But let's walk up a bit closer. And there's a lot more to it than that ugly tower up there. But I'm kind of disgusted by this because of this residential area that it's in. And I wonder if that base station is connected to these 5G antennas, which are which are right nearby. But we'll We'll go to those and, and get a look at those and do some readings. But let's take another reading here. Yeah, yeah, it's maxed out now. Look, we're getting closer. 7,400. Uh, the peak signal's up, up as high as six. It's oscillating. Uh, the safe levels below 0.5. All these establishment puppets in Ottawa know about this, but it's like the it's like the DAPS, um, uh, the telecommunication and the big farmer is uh, immune to liability. Eh, that's the whole idea. But someone someone asked me why why the hell are they doing it? Well, the the politicians are puppets. And this whole agenda of the Great Reset, the AI technocracy, they want to make money. They want to bring this in. You know, it's huge money, huge control. So they don't give a shit. It's just collateral damage, right? That's the bottom line. This is in BC, British Columbia. This is pretty sad for a residential area. Most people aren't even aware of it, eh? Look. Look. Look at that. I feel sick around here. I was waiting for a bus and I had I had to shield myself. It was sickening. Yeah, I know sunny Surrey. I've been around the lower mainland here in Vancouver. I I'm just sickened. But There we go, we're almost pretty much, yeah, it's peaking up right right to max. Over 15,000 now on this. Uh, you know, Red Deer is probably the top so far, but we'll see. We'll get a bit closer to this. It's more than that tower, as I'll, I'll point out to you. Yeah, it's everywhere in Surrey. I feel sorry for the people in Surrey, man. It's here in Richmond. It's, I, I was in downtown Vancouver yesterday for that event. There's rooftops everywhere, right? So, and this is only the beginning, right? But I'll show you some 5G after this and you'll see it's being deployed. I was quite shocked to see it. Here we are now, look at that, yeah. I felt sick this morning when I was walking around here. 17,000 now. That's power output. 23,000. It's pretty high. How do you feel? Do you feel anything? Because I know you said your head was starting to hurt. 
Yeah. You mind holding this for a second? I'll just show you what we're dealing with. We're in uh, uh, Richmond, British Columbia. This is Williams. Is it street or road? Street. So Williams Street. And I'll I'll do a, I'll show you the cross street so you can come and check it out yourself. Yeah, here we are here. It's quite quite a setup they have there, but right in a residential, it's unbelievable. 17,000, that's the highest output. That's still high for a residential. 28,000. It hit there. Look at that. <laughs> and this is where I was sitting for the bus today. I took a bus, eh? And I was sitting right here. And I wasn't feeling good. And I looked up, and that's what I saw, eh? Look. 43,000, 51,000 power output. This is where I was sitting. The meter's not lying. So let's get a closer look. You see that? See, we got that monstrosity right there. There's no regard for public health. There's all kinds of antennas along the roof. See there? Look at that. Look at that, everyone. This is in uh, Richmond, B.C., Canada. So the cross street is Williams, if you want to go check it out yourself, and number two. And we'll just do another reading here. But look at that. It's pretty bad, Maria. Look, look. get it look at that pretty bad that's too much for a public area that's that's upper extreme right now people aren't even aware let's cross the street quickly I want to show them something else I don't even know what building that is Yeah. It's dropping a bit the readings now because we're slightly under the antennas because the, they're directional antennas. And I think those are connected to it there. You see that? This is where they have all the these are connected, I believe that's connected to those antennas right there. Let's just go over here to get a look in the back there. Oh, not yet. Once, it, once it's cleared. Well, let's cross here. So what's, uh, what's all those long gated ones? Are they 5G? No, I'm looking, uh, they look like 4G to me. Yeah. And you see how powerful it is, yeah, right? Square ones. Where? So the top is the tall one and then the... Yeah, well, they could have some 3G up there, I think. It could be a mix. But you see how powerful the system is, eh? Right? The meter's reading. Yeah. We'll just do a quick look. Then I want to I wanna document these 5G antennas. But they're going to add more antennas to this, eh? Eventually, eh? But my issue, it's right in the residential area here, eh? As you can see, there's no businesses. Yeah, so this is all... I wonder if this is some telecommunication company. But... Yeah, it's TELUS. We got our answer there. They're under video surveillance for security purposes. Okay, whatever. We're just videoing. Right. So this is a big uh, TELUS, um, it's almost beyond a, a base station here. But who knows what they're going to crank out over, over time.
We're just going to go around to the back quickly. But that's where I was today over there with that van. Is I, I had to move. Uh, I, I ended up going behind just to get some shielding. But these are these are everywhere. Everywhere you're driving, they're everywhere. People are just gonna get fried. And we're only dealing with five uh four four G here, eh? We'll just take a quick look here. Yeah, it's a big TELUS facility. Uh, we'll have to. Uh, this is a site that should be monitored because they could easily add more antennas along those roof. I don't see any 5G up here, but it's pretty bad for uh, residential area. And like I said, look, it's all residences around here. So some people are getting severely impacted. I don't like it. But um, share your feedback. We're going to go to this 5G now quickly and show you guys that. It's, uh, it just shows you that this thing is speeding up.